we're still going to work on main idea or main topic. Um, so we are going to read a story called Who Were the Mound Builders? Um, it's an informational text, so it's giving you information. Um, we are going to answer the questions and the short or the detailed question that goes with the first question, part A and part B, your turn and talk, and then your short response using the race strategy. Please remember to write more than one sentence. When you are using the race strategy, it should be about three to four sentences, okay? Some of us are only writing one or two. Okay, give me lots of details. So remember, when we're finding main idea or main topic, we are looking for what this whole text was mostly about. What was the whole point of this text? What were they trying to tell us? Okay, so who were the mountain builders? Long ago, Native Americans lived near the Ohio and Mississippi rivers. These people are known as the mound builders. They carried earth in baskets. Then they piled it up with their hands. Over time, they made huge earth mounds. Some mounds were used to bury the dead. Paragraph two, the mounds have different shapes. Some people built mounds shaped like cones. One of the highest mounds is almost 70 feet tall. Paragraph three, some people built mounds shaped like circles or squares. They made some of the largest mounds in the world. These mounds were built about 2,000 years ago. Paragraph four, other people built mounds shaped like animals. One mound looks like a winding snake. It is about 1,300 feet long. And paragraph five, still other people made mounds with flat tops. The people built homes on top of the mounds. These mounds were once part of a large, powerful city. First thing we're gonna do, how does each paragraph help you identify the main topic of the article? Underline the key details in each paragraph. Well, each paragraph talked about um, the different ways they built mounds. So I know this main topic of this text was um, the different types of mounds that were built, okay? So I'm gonna find that in each paragraph and I'm gonna underline that or I'm just gonna highlight it actually. Okay. All right, so over time they made huge earth mounds. That proves to me that they were building these mounds. So I got paragraph one. Next paragraph, they, the mounds have different shapes. Some people built mounds shaped like cones. There's another example of the different mounds they built. Next one. Some people built mounds shaped like circles or squares. There's another example of the types of mounds they built. Okay. Next one. Other people built mounds shaped like animals. That is another example. And last one. The people built homes on top of mounds. These mounds were part of a large, part, large, large powerful city but they used, they made them with flat top. So I have examples to prove to me that this text was mostly about um, the different types of mounds that people built. So let's move on and let's get down to our, our questions. This question has two parts, answer part A and then answer part B. Part A, what kind of mounds are talked about in paragraph three? So paragraph three, this paragraph was mostly about the what type of mound, okay? If you see my example right there, I said some people built mounds shaped like circles or squares. Hint, hint. Um, what kind of mounds are talked about in paragraph three? A, mounds like cones. B, mounds like circles or squares. C, mounds like animals. Or D, mounds like a city. And next, part B, write two details you learned about the answer you chose in part A. So I need two examples about mounds, what type of mounds you picked. So you'll look in, so we know this came from paragraph three, so we'll look in paragraph three. Give me two examples about the mounds that you answered. I'm not gonna give you the answer, but give me two examples of those type of mounds, okay? Or two details about them. And then your turn and talk will be posted on Schoology. And then lastly, your response. So how does each paragraph add to what you know about the main topic? So let's restate. Each paragraph adds to the main topic because how? Give me an example. Okay, what is the main topic? The, I discussed at the beginning, 